Hi, I'm Berit Schuck, a dramaturg and curator based in Berlin, a co-founder and co-curator of Kayim. Previously, I was program director at Mass Alexandria, where I curated and managed an independent student study program, which I mention here only because at Mass I had a couple of conversations with students that inspired my decision to propose Mashrua Leila's Roman for Norian's exhibition at the Mannheimer Summer Festival. Now let me tell you a little bit about these conversations. They would focus around the worldwide Orient pornography, which what, what do I call Orient pornography? It's a set of stereotypes that are being reproduced over and over again, um, such as um, a woman lowers her eyes when talking to a man, or an oriental woman or man is always wrapped in long sleeves um, and a baya. To cut a long story short, it was also through this conversation that I first heard about Mashrua Leila and about Roman, which is a track that considers um, Aryan pornography um, to drain uh, it of such connotations to reach a better world. How does Roman do this? Working with an emerging female director from Lebanon called Jessie Marsalam, the video sees the all main members of the events quite literally take the back seat to a group of women as NPR critic Anastasia Tsiulkas put it in her 2017 review. Dressed up in a broad range of traditional Middle Eastern clothes, such as long robes, kaftans and abayas, and wearing various kinds of wheels, these, the women, are in turn stereotypes of the Oriental women. As Mashrua Leila said in the same interview, the women are styled to over-articulate their ethnic background in a manner more typically employed by Western media to victimize them. It's a way of treating oppression, not as a source of victimhood, but as a fertile ground from which resistance can be weaponized. Now, the title and the lyrics of Roman, which at first may sound mysterious, actually convey all this already. Roman is generated from Rome, which is the classical Arab word for Romans or Byzantines non-Muslims, and later became associated with Christians and Europeans. The power of the song, however, lies in one word, which is part of the refrain, Alehem, church. So we can say there is a cry for resistance right there.